everyone, my name is the Beast Pokeballer, but you can call me Luke. And my name is Papa C. Yo C, do you remember back in Gen 1 when there were only 15 different types? Yeah, they made it a total of 17 in Generation 2 with the introductions of the Steel and Dark typings. And let's not forget about when Fairy type was added in Generation 6, making there be a total of 18 different typings. Um, well we do have Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out this holiday season, you suppose we're gonna get some new typings in that game? Well, we do have 5 new types that we've been speculating on, so why don't we give the people what they want and tell them? Yeah. Welcome to 5 potential new types that we could get in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Remember guys, this is all based on our opinions, so do not get salty if a type you want isn't on this list. Just remember, tell us in the comments, we want to hear what you want to see. Exactly! And it's also important to mention that this is not a top 5. These are not in any special order, guys. Anyways, let's rock. I'm not lying when I'm saying that a light typing would be super cool. Yeah, it would be such a small Pokemon gain this type, such as Lantern, Xerneas, and even Chandelure. It could be super effective against Ghost and Dark to symbolize light overpowering shadows, and Fighting to symbolize blinding a fighter. It would probably be weak against types that could block out the light, such as Rock and Water, and maybe even like a Yin and Yang situation, where Dark is both weak and super effective against light. It isn't related to Pokemon Moon version in any way, but imagine a lunar or space theme typing. It would be a perfect typing for Pokemon represented as aliens. Yeah! Imagine Elgium, Clefairy, Deoxys, and many more all being retyped to fit their alien characteristics. It would be insane! Just to throw something out there, it could be both weak or strong against fairy types. And though it might be a little bit far-fetched... Alright, alright. <laughs> I had to do that guys, like that wasn't even written in the script, I'm just recording my audio now from the script, and I, I saw an opportunity for a good meme, and I took an opportunity for a good meme guys, I'm a memer, and, and I'm proud. <laughs> Anyways guys, uh, even though it would be a little bit far fetched, maybe it could be strong against something like steel, since aliens are depicted as having really advanced technology such as flying saucers and know how to manipulate it well. I have another idea for a type though. What is it? How about computer theme types, such as a virtual or something along those lines? Hey, that idea isn't half bad. Pokemon like Metagross in the Porygon line would get a retyping. Yeah, I mean, if they're both added, I could see this also being weak against the alien typing, along with electric and maybe even water. And it would have to be super effective against steel as well. It would be really cool, and I would love to see what they do with the new Pokemon that would have this typing. Yo, see. But for real? What if there was a nuclear typing? Hey, that isn't half bad. Seems kind of weird, but I could see a Garbodor and Muck getting the type changings. Yeah, it's definitely a strange idea, but I could definitely see it happening. New Pokemon could have a sort of radioactive feeling. <laughs> Would probably be weak to fire and steel since they are using nuclear power plants, while it could be strong against types like normal, water, and even grass to symbolize how nuclear waste can affect the environment in real life. Alright everyone, I know that we said this isn't a top 5, but we saved the best for last. People have been speculating for this type for years, and it just seems this is the most practical. This, of course, is the sound typing. It just fits so well. Imagine Pokemon such as Exploud, Noivern, Pyro, and even Chimeco all gaining the sound typing. Exactly! New Pokemon based off of inanimate objects such as bells and various instruments would make awesome additions to the lineup. It could be super fed against types like rock and ground to symbolize echoes, which doesn't really make much sense, but if you don't think about it, it does. I could see it being weak against water and flying, since water and wind both cut out sound. And maybe in fairy type, it's pretty OP. And with that, guys, that is the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to both me and my great friend Papa C. That's me. Who puts out some amazing LPs, Wi-Fi battles, and more awesome content. Have a nice day, guys, and as always, let the outro roll!